Welcome. Welcome. Isaac Clark to the USG Ishimura. Hey YouTube. Uh, this week I'm making the plasma cutter and I've decided to use a Nerf gun as the base. Uh, basically I've, what I've done is I've hacksawed it and drew, drew a light down there and I hacksawed it across down there. And it's basically given a good template which should rotate like the plasma cutter there. So that will be the back and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to draw up with foam for the front and um, it'll be something like that and it should rotate so I'm just going to draw the patterns on it and cut it out and stuff like that on it but um, in the middle what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a drill bit in there in that hole and then I'm going to this is part of the gun I'm going to glue that all in there so it gives it a stick for it to turn on and then um, I'll glue the uh, foam to the drill bit. This is what it looks like with the drill bit in there. You can probably just use a stick or something something straight, but I've decided to use this as it's pretty pretty straight. Working on the other part of the plasma cutter, the part that's going to be down here, and I've just used foam. I've drawn out the pattern of, of what it looks like. And I've decided to use some plastic, um, Tupperware kind of plastic, and make some cuts and glue it onto there. And I've done the same on the other side. Now what I've done is I drilled down through the middle of the foam, and then I placed the foam onto the drill bit that's on this. So now it allows for rotation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to temporarily put on the sides and show you what it looks like. I've temporarily attached the sides just with a little bit of glue just to show you what it looks like and what it's supposed to do. So at the moment stand straight, but then you can rotate it. Uh, this is a AAA battery pack that I got from the electrical um, appliance store, well, not an electrical hobby store, and I've installed some of the Christmas tree lights. Um, I haven't gone laser because the lasers uh, were too expensive and um, it's going to take some time to find some uh, cheap lasers. So I've just soldered it on, wired it up, and um, glued it in. I've also installed a red flashing LED. You can buy these LEDs um, with a built-in flashing from your electrical hobby store. So now we've got the basic basic concept design. I am going to do some more work to it. But this is uh, this build for this has taken hardly any time at all. So I'm just going to paint it up and add some more foam to it. I've got the basic basic. Uh, Place my cutter done. Uh, probably not going to do any more to it really, just give it a paint um, just because I'm running out of time. And uh, yeah, so um, these little bits at the top here, I actually used a part of the Nerf gun that I took apart. Um, I'll show you which bits it was. It was the cylinder that came out. I used a hot knife and I basically slid it down and cut it out to get these parts up here. And then I just use a square bit of foam, a longer bit of foam, and this is like hard plastic from a Tupperware container. And I've just used the heat gun to melt it. So basically, you got the basic shape of the plasma cutter. I will fill these in with some small screws. I'll paint them red um, because I'm going for the N7 look. And then this will be painted uh, different colours to make it stand out and look different. So this is the Dead Space 2 plasma cutter. And um, yeah, oh, I'm quite happy. It's only probably hasn't taken that long to do this part. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Uh, sorry it was a quick one. Um, I've only got a few weeks left to get the whole suit completed. And after that, I'll put up a whole video uh, showing off the full complete suit and with this all painted up. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And I'll put up another video of the painting process in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching. What is going on down there?